Hey everyone, I'm here with Karen Salvaggio at the Scorpion EV booth. And uh, this is a beautiful car. It's being noticed here. You can see best engineered vehicle of the year. You got a whole bunch of uh, awards here. Um, can you take us through, Karen, what we're oh, looking yeah. at? Absolutely. Thank you for coming over here. I'm so happy. This is our, we're featuring here, our new Venom EV conversion pack. And the conversion pack is designed for the DIY guy that wants to convert, and it, we always talk about classics, yeah. but what it's really for is anybody that wants to convert a front engine drive car, you know, not just rear wheel drive, front engine car, that doesn't want to cut their chassis up, doesn't want to deal with high voltage, doesn't want to deal with all the problems of trying to make all the pieces work. Yeah. We've done all of the engineering and it's in a sealed, tested, completely ready to go box that you just drop in with your manual transmission that still gets used Ah. And, and it's just plug and play. So you basically have three ports. You have your data port, you have your cooling port, and then you have 12 volts. Okay. And you can see those right there in the front. We have just super easy connections. So the DIY guy only does, ha all he has to do is, you know, obviously you gotta run your, we give you the harness, we give you the dash. So everything is already built to pick up the parameters of an EV. That's awesome. So this is a pretty good graphic here. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking at right here right is that correct yes that is exactly it motor in the back connects to the uh, manual transmission yeah let's walk around here and take a look at the uh, inside of the uh, the cockpit as we'll call it okay <laughs> so passenger compartment and we left the tunnel cover off so on this on this build because we did it on a, you know what would be a 65 shelby cobra we left the dash the way it is and you'll see those gauges are actually made by smiths and they, they actually read everything about the car itself, about the EV pack, so the cooling and all that. But you'll also see we still have a T5 transmission. We have the clutch, so if you look up in the foot box, the clutch is there, so we have clutch, brake, gas, all there. So a guy who just wants to still be able to shift, everything works. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, in other EV conversions that keep the manual, mm -hmm. sometimes you can just leave it in third. You can. And drive it like that. And you and can do that here. You can do that Same here as thing. well. But you know, like we always talk on this, on the EV, really, truly, the transmission is a torque multiplier. Okay. So you get a little off the line better in first than you would, you know, the, you know, because you're not at one to one. You're, but we also know that you have all the torque at one miles an hour. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's face it, it's a whole different experience. Driving them is way fun. I've had this on track. Uh, you might want to see some of the videos we have going there. This thing, this thing flies. It's, it's a great, 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 great car to drive. You took this to Big Willow, right? Yep, yep. How did it do? It, it did great. And I've been racing these and building them for little, almost to 20 years. It handles beautifully. But that has, again, to do with how you set up your car. Okay. So handling is all about suspension and, you know, those pieces. Set up your car properly. That box weighs about somewhere into 80 to 100 pounds, maybe more than your internal combustion engine would. Okay. So you just transfer a little more weight. But you're basically not adding a bunch of, you know, huge battery packs and cutting chassis and... And that basically just takes the place of an internal combustion engine. Got it. Yeah. How big is the battery pack in this car? We have, we're running seven Tesla units. Okay. Yeah. So we're at 40 kilowatts. Yeah. So it, it'll do about 200 miles. That's, that's plenty. Yeah. Unless you're well, on the track and then it's a lot what, less. For right? what this car is built for, you know? I yeah. Mean, and it could be a daily driver for somebody who, you know, and this will go in any car. So, you know, you could put this in. We had, we had guys coming over wanting to put them in, in. They're reproducing Broncos. They're like, hey, we go drop them. Um, yep, we can build a box for you because it, 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 it bolts in. You can see right through here. It bolts into the existing motor mounts. So you just tell us where the motor mounts on your car and we'll put it on the box. That's so cool. <clears throat> now, this particular car has probably some other track setup done, suspension, things like that. Yeah, well, it's one of the reasons that we like working with the Factory 5 cars, because they're really... Oh, this is a Factory 5. This is a Factory cool. 5. Cool. Yeah, we have a partnership with them. Okay. Yeah, and I've been building and racing their cars for years, but they're designed to perform. So the, the outward look is, is the, you know, salute and heritage of the 65 Shelby Cobra. 
but underneath everything's designed for performance. So we can jack the weight around, move things around. So even if it came out to be, you know, 50, 48, or the cross was not right, you just jack weight around and then you're balanced. Nice. Yeah. As far as, uh, now I know it's a little complicated because it still has the manual, but mm -hmm. like horsepower, torque, what are you, what are we're, you kind we're of roughly at, seeing? We're right at around 200, 200, 200 horse and about, we're a little over 230, 240 torque. Okay. A little more torque, and obviously. Overall weight? Overall weight car. is 2,600. Oh, that's not heavy at all. No, yeah, no. Yeah, that's so no. nice and light. No, it's, it's, well, I mean, that's, you know, we're, we're, this car normally gets built at around 2,450 or 2,500. So we're about 100 pounds heavier. Okay. Which is really nil when you're talking this. It's not, not that difference. much, because you can, you know, for those of us who race, you can transfer weight all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is this yeah. going to be your, your race car? Um, I have, I've had it on track. Um, it's so pretty. I don't think so. No, maybe a <laughs> yeah. second one. I think another one because I mean, it's, I look at the paint on this thing. I just, it's just beautiful. It really is. It is. I, I'll, I'll take it out and flog it. <laughs> Not a problem, but. Um, and I wouldn't have any fear of racing it. Actually, I had a couple people while we've been here at the show asking me if they'll do an internal combustion and EV race. We could build two similar cars and you know similar oh, horsepower, awesome. and let's let's do. Do so they want to like do like their own podcast or TV show? And I'm like, let's go. Sure. I'll, I'll take this out and do that. Okay. But when you're talking racing, you're talking wheel to wheel. Right. People go off. You know, I do that in my other life. But there's cars that go off and throw rocks everywhere, and I don't think I'd want to do that to this. Not with this paint. Not no. with this one. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. This, well, is, this our baby is so though. cool. Yeah. Thank you for taking us Thank through. Thank you. Where do people find you if they have more questions? Um, we are at scorpion-ev.com. Okay. And or we have a QR code if you want to go up there and take a. Perfect. It's right I'll there. I'll get that. And yeah, then... get the QR code and it takes you right to the website, and then all the contact information is there. I will uh, go ahead and you put the links Karen, in the, uh, the <laughs> follow the smoke tail, find Karen. Yeah. I'll, I'll answer let all me, your questions. Let me just say something really quickly. This award means more to us than we can even possibly put in words. Because here at SEMA, how many people work so hard to get their dream car here? Yes. Or the car in their booth, or the one that's in the battle of the builders. And, and there's hundreds of them here, maybe thousands for, for that matter, to be recognized for the best engineered vehicle. Um, it's, we're speechless, humbled and grateful. Well, congratulations and Thank well you. deserved. It's, yeah. Thank you, Karen. We feel lucky. Thank you. <laughs>